Hello tubers, Jeff here. Today I'll show you a bagger modified for quick dumping and easy install. Installing it on the tractor used to be quite the task. Here's the rundown. Now originally to mount the rear bagger, you had to take all these arms off and then it was a rigid mount system. You had to bolt this on with spacers and then the bagger slid into this. And of course this is one of the arms too that you all had to use for this configuration. This is a bracket I designed here for multiple accessories and they're all easy to install, one pin design. To install it now, just roll up, set the channel on the drawbar, and install a pin. For this framework, uh, I pretty much will cut the entire thing all apart, so I can do my one pin attachment. Uh, a little extra structural added here for strength, and down here, this is that channel where it sits on the drawbar. Now originally this would have had three bags hanging up here that you would have to slide off and empty. A few things had to be changed for the rear lid. These were originally mounted on some brackets that went across here and that held each bag on. So I cut them off on the brackets and then we used them on the water pipe here. You can see where the plywood sits on top up here and I had to cut the hinges off and raise them up three quarters of an inch right here. And then I stapled the window screen onto that. And because now all the weight's going to be in the bottom in the bin and not hanging from this top frame, I had to structure up for the bottom here. So I ran a strut here. And then this is three quarter inch water pipe that goes around the base of it for support for this bottom. Here's a little better view of the bottom where you can see the three quarter inch water pipe going around the border. The plywood is mounted onto the water pipe with some sheet metal screws. And then for the door, when you open it, I got a piano hinge for the full length. The wheels are so you can move it easy around in the shed. And of course, here's the best part. You never have to get off the seat to empty it. Pull the lever, and then to reset it, pull the roll. Here's a look at the latch. It holds the hopper shut. And you see I got a little steel wear plate on there. And then up here, there's a cable clamp, and it goes onto a rod. And that's the way it can flex when the door opens. You close the door, it's got a rope tied on there, and a little pulley here, and that's what that rope hangs out the front. And you pull on that, and you can re-close the door. And one last thing, this chute was too short because of me moving it back a little further with my bracket design. So I had to buy another one, and then I used part of it heated up with a body shop uh, heat gun, and pop riveted on here, and now I have a section is long enough. There, that's it. Let's go watch it work though.
Just like washing your car, you know you're going to have to do it again. Hey tubers, neat little tip there for you. On these industrial wheels, they have bushings in them normally. And those do wear out. Uh, what I've been doing on everything is I get these flange bearings. Now, these come in a three quarter inch hole in the center or a five eighths. The outside diameter is one and three eighths. Now, the, they also fit your small riding lawnmowers and garden tractors for the front wheels. On these, these are the ones that are really prone to wearing out, and uh, they don't have any bushing at all in these, so I machined them out to adapt to them bearing still. Let's get you another tip here too. This idler here is two halves, and it's riveted together, and it costs quite a bit for replacement. So what I've done is I drilled out the rivets and put quarter inch bolts in place of them, and then that way you can split the two halves, put new bearings in, and you're not on a whole lot of money. It's pretty slick out of blower mounts on the mower deck. It's pretty easy to remove and install. Just lift up on there, and then you put the one pin here, it's off. Need a little bit of a close up of the blower. You got a little idler wheel down in here to keep tension on the belt, and adjust it on the top here. And that's it. You can see under that right wheel, I have one of these little carts under there you can buy at the hardware store. Now, say if you want to get your mower deck out from under your tractor, you have the room to move it sideways, you just put that under the rear wheels there, and the swivel casters do the rest in the front. Get your pause button ready if you'd like the basket dimensions. Well, tubers, I hope this video gives you some ideas. Maybe rate and subscribe. I appreciate that. And thank you all for watching. Bye bye. Just like washing your car, you know you're going to have to do it again.